I've always liked how Korean games have looked. I've just never played very many of them. I think the only one I've actually played was like Lineage 2 way back in the day. And I picked that up quite quickly and dropped it just as fast. No particular reason, just moved on to other things. Crimson Desert looked awesome when they first showed it like two or three years ago. And then it kind of just dropped off the map for a long time. And now it's back at Gamescom. I think Black Desert, the MMO that this same developer made, looks amazing. I think Black Desert looks really cool. Just never got into it. And this looks pretty kick-ass too. I've heard good things, so let's let's see what's happening. Yeah, like it screams Black Desert right now. Gives me some Assassin's Creed vibes too. That was pretty cool. And the fact that it's a single player just has me so much more excited. Damn, this game is looking clean. Oh, and just so expansive once again. These open world games are becoming too big. Tell it's a Korean game by how pretty everybody is. Oh, some Grand Theft Auto in this too. Interesting fantasy race there. Need me my fishing. Looks a lot different from the uh, OG trailer a few years ago, must say. Oh, it's got like Skylands, like Zelda too. Oh yeah, some big time Assassin's Creed vibes there. Man, this game seems like it has a lot going on. The armor sets. That was cool. That poor horse. It's climbing up tree beard. <laughs> Nice. Some super cinematic combat. Redouble. Scream Zelda. Holy crap, how big is this? I'm, I have anxiety from just how big this game is. I'm still sinking time into Zelda. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty damn good. I really hope it has some good one on one dueling action. They're very much showing that in the trailer. Maybe they're just making the game look good. You know how these trailers can be sometimes. That is cool as heck. Yeah, the environmental damage in this game is awesome. I hope we can do tons of crazy stuff like that. Yeah, whereas Final Fantasy 16 had a lot of motion blur, and I know a lot of people got sick from that stuff until they added a patch. This has like none. The obligatory giant crab enemy. We pet the puppy, pick up the cat. That is just plain cool, man. Just pole vaulting himself over the wall. Love that. That that horse is dead. 
Nope. I was expecting something big to come through that. I love how he's just throwing dudes. Yeah, this looks super cool. Just these these duels that are going on here. Oh, that was slick. Yeah, some big boss fights. I was like a mechanical dragon too. This is really neat looking. These freaking reed devils or whatever. I, I always thought fighting in tall grass and stuff like that in movies or games always just cinematically speaking was awesome. No, I'm I'm excited. <sighs> Like the game, the game looks good. It looks like there's a lot you can do. Uh, just curious to see how the final polish looks with it. And so many, so many big open world games too. And it says it's going to have quite a, quite a heavy, or at least they're touting. They're touting that the story is going to be a big part of the game, and it's going to have a good one. So that that gets me too. It's just with open world games like this, the story can be very hard to um, maintain kind of momentum when it comes to the narrative because just you can get off the beam trail so much so it'll be interesting to see how they how they do the story in this title but no looking good what do you all think let me know in the comments see you there